All that attention on you, okay? Perfect. Okay. He's like showed me that you like this kind of video and this kind of stuff so yes if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell that way you get notified every single time I upload so if you're wondering where I got these questions from I asked on Bo's Instagram so Bo is having an Instagram is at Bo and her pugs all in words no capitals so that's fun. I like to post on there. If you haven't gotten enough bow here on YouTube, there's always a bunch on her Instagram. Okay, before I end this video, if you like this video, guys, subscribe to my channel. Yes, I'm with the baby. So, the first question is How much do all the animals weigh? So, the pugs weigh about. Jenny weighs around 18, 18.5 pounds. Becky weighs around that 16, 17 mark. And Bo weighs, we've never actually weighed her, but she weighs about 5, 6 pounds. The next thing is, what's your favorite thing to do with Bo? I love doing clicker training with her. It's so fun to see her so happy. Bo, oh, can you turn around so you're facing the camera? So I love doing clicker training with Bo because you get to see her happy and she's also learning and getting like stimulized that's always really cool too i also really like just like laying by her you can find her for ten yes but you can't just okay turn around so then the next thing is that what's the difference between both pugs personalities so it's just all in bow right now. Okay, perfect. So, Becky has more of a, like, weak, not like weaker personality, but she's more shy, but she's also very cuddly and, like, the sort of, like, cute thing. And then Jenny is very, like, lazy and, like, un, unactive. So, kind of just, like, chill person. She's very comfortable with herself, so... They're definitely very different once you get to know them. And the next question is, who inspired you to get both? So we actually have a neighbor who is super, super amazing. And she's quite a few house rabbits, so she's rescued all of them. She's just super, super amazing, so we would always go to her house for the holidays and things like that. And I would just always get so excited to see her rabbits, so it's just seeing how happy she was. Oh, I was like, oh, I want a bunny. And just, she just helped me so, so much. And just like been such an influence. And it's just so amazing to have her as a, a rabbit friend. 
The next question is your favorite hay. So Bo's favorite hay is oat hay. I think she likes how crunchy and hearty it is. So that's definitely her favorite. She loves picking the little like, seed heads out of that. And yes, uh, she loves that. You guys are getting a big course of the bowl right now. Oh my goodness, but you are so cute right now. So that is one of her favorites. If you want that one. So, okay, and we get our hay from Small Pet Shop. So the next question is, how do you tell if Bo's happy? So rabbits do this thing called a binky, which is when they get really happy. They'll jump up in the air and they'll twist their legs and, not twist, but they'll like kick their legs out and flip their head up and it's just like this big jump and like this really cool and cute thing. And then if your rabbit is really happy and relaxed, they do this thing called a flop. This is where they would like flop over, but they don't like stay on their back because that's not good for rabbits. They think they're getting picked up by a predator. So then, uh, I also like seeing them down, but Binky is a very good thing that uh, you can tell when Super Rabbit's happy. Just search up Rabbit Binky and you basically get a pretty clear answer. So the next thing is, what's Bo's naughtiest behavior? So, Bo doesn't really have any like naughty or like aggressive behaviors or destructive behaviors, but one of her more annoying behaviors is that she likes to dig in her litter box. And it's definitely kind of annoying because I'll change her litter box and it'll be like all fresh and beautiful, and then she'll just start digging in it. Oh my gosh, you are just so close to that camera. And she'll just start digging in it, which is kind of annoying because like, it's all nice and clean and then she'll push it all to one side. And, but I know the digging feels good on her paws, so I can't get too, too angry at her, but yeah. The next question is, how has Bo's diet changed since you adopted her? So, ever since I adopted her, Bo has never eaten veggies before I adopted her. So, she's definitely, as you can see, very much enjoying veggies. So, she eats a lot more veggies now, which is absolutely great. Thing. Oh my gosh, Bo, you're crunching so close to the camera. What are you doing? Don't know, are you walking away? So definitely Bo has eaten a lot more veggies and she eats treats now before she'd not eat treats and her hay is really good quality and there's a mix of hay. The next question is how old is Bo? So since I adopted her, I don't really know her specific age. So I'd estimate like two years basically. What's she gonna do? Oh, she's going up the stairs. She's going up the stairs. I estimate around two years of age in there. Bo, oh, come eat some veggies. Come eat some veggies, Bo. What if I turn? What if I turn the plate? So, next question is, how much is your grocery bill for Bo? So, Bo goes through around two spring mixes a week. So, that ranges between about $10 a week for all those groceries, but then every few weeks I have to get more litter and things like that. So I'd say on average, probably I pay like $15, $20 for her a month. Don't you want that for The next question is, what's the most difficult thing about having a rabbit? So I definitely think it's hard because a lot of people don't understand rabbits. So when people come over, they're like, how oh, cute, you have a bunny, can I pick it up? It's like, ah, you no, you don't want to do that. And also, they're a lot of work. So I'm always vacuuming, feeding Bo, changing her litter box, buying her more stuff. There's just so much stuff involved with that. The next question is, does Bo live outside? So Bo does not live outside. Rabbits do not live outside. There are many different reasons. There's isolation, harsh weather conditions, predators, pesticides, bugs. So much stuff, just not worth the risk. And your rabbits deserve to live inside with you. Like, why would you get a rabbit just to store it outside? Doesn't make sense. So, Bo does not live outside. The only time she's ever gone outside is when she's in her carrier and we're going to the vet. But I would always take some pictures of her outside in the future, but she's never going to live. Oh, 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 she's destroying her high cube. Okay. We won't see Bo destroying her high cube. She's right there. The next question is How does Bo make you feel in three words? So, I'd say she makes me feel very, like, happy, because that's not very good, really. 
Um, my face makes me feel exquisite because she's very, very, like, just so amazing. She's like this little ball of like, oh, so exquisite. And then I say proud because I just look at all the things she has and how hard I work to buy all those things for her. And then I say she makes me feel very comfortable because she's just always there and she's willing to like listen to me, like talk to her, and that's always really sweet as well. So then the next thing, the next question is, what's your favorite rabbit Instagram? So I really like Big Cocoa Puff. He is, oh, he's so amazing at it. He's a continental giant. If you don't know what a continental giant is, they're like big rabbits. Probably like, he's probably like four bones. <laughs> he's 18 pounds, so that's just like a comparison. He's like a dog, basically. And he's just such a cute rabbit. And his family, they just, they're like, they... Oh, they treat him amazing. And I also really like Len and the Bunny. I like bunnies at lunch because they're always just like showing these really cute pictures of bunnies. And then I also like 101 rabbits. So the next question is, how often do you change those other rabbits? So I try to change it every other day, but it usually winds up happening every three days. And... I put a little extra litter in there, that way it can absorb and last that extra day. The next question is, what's your favorite rabbit store? So I'd say for, for hay and for food, small pet select. For supplies, Chewy.com. For Heidi Houses, BinkyBunny.com. And for toys and treats, Bunny's that Lunch. So depending on what thing you want, those are my favorite stores for all those stuff. And I also really like 101 Rabbits as well. And... And House Rabbit Society, those are two really good shops as well, but those are just my favorite. Uh, so those are all really nice stop shops, but if someone said, oh, you have a $100 at any rabbit store, I'd probably pick toys just because those are the most interesting out of hay and litter. And basically, it's stuff I order from Kitty and, and Swap Hunt as well. Brain just like died. The next question is, what breed is Bo? So Bo is a Dutch, and the Dutch have the white like up their nose and around their collar. So that is definitely bow. And then some Dutch have the white paws, but most don't. So bow is very much a Dutch. She's very interesting. And then she's also a lion head because she has a little like bohawk. Uh, so she's a lion head Dutch mix. The next question is what's Bo's favorite treat? So personally, my favorite rabbit treat is the little hearts. Because Bo likes them, and they're really great and small for clicker training. But she also really likes the metal loops and the simple nibbles. Simply nibbles, simple nibbles. The next question is, who's Bo's favorite person in the family? So Bo really likes my sister Eva, mainly because she has an art desk in Bo's room. And yeah, definitely check out the room tour video, because I show Eva's art desk in that video. Is going to town with that thing. Uh, yeah, and even doesn't really touch Bo very much, so Bo also really likes that as well. Next question is How old are the pugs? So the pugs are around 10 or 11. When we adopted them in January 20, late January 2015, they were told to be four. So my guess is that they were about to turn five because. They do not act like an eight or nine year old dog. They act very much like a, a 10 or 11 year old dog. The next question and the final question is where do you get both beds and heights? So as for Chewy's, her big Chewy houses, those were just boxes from Chewy.com and I just cut some holes out of those. Um, this Crack Crack House, which is one of those favorites, she loves napping in here, is I got this at Target. Target has really great, amazing cat scratcher houses. Also, during Halloween and during Christmas, they have these kind of cat scratcher houses. And I set that up in a video, so definitely check that out as well. Then, Bunny's at Lunch has really amazing beds. Her carrot bed here. They also have their iconic banana bed. And then, Binky Bunny also has... I need to go crisscross out. Binky Bunny also has really, really amazing... Hiding houses, they have great tunnels, and then they have these like apartment things, so it's really cool. So, thank you to everybody who submitted these questions, 
And if you guys aren't already, follow Bo on Instagram at Bo Bunny and her pugs. That way, the next time we have a Q&A, you guys can ask those questions as well. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.